Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel. I'm of course the Excessive Player and today we are up to episode number 22 of our Let's Play series here on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Before we get started if you could quickly drop us a like on today's video it would be very much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So today, episode number 22, what are we doing today? Well today we are here in Cardiff, we're currently in this quarry area where we uh, dropped off yesterday's load. We've just picked up another load and of course then we had to remember that we needed to sleep. But uh, So we quickly parked up, had a sleep and woken up and it's now raining once again. But the job we've got today is of course 22 tonnes of large tubes coming from Cardiff going down to Roscoff in uh, northern France so not a huge job today but uh, still a fair old run we've got uh, of course 15 hours, 16 hours before it's considered as late and we've got uh, a 10 hour 35 minutes of journey time 282 miles to go so let's crack straight on get that engine started up let's say we are got it all loaded up and we're ready to go engine on handbrake off and off we shall go we shall need some lights on here wipers as well of course we've got that lovely wet weather the hill. Got our beacons on at the moment as I say we are currently still in the quarry area. And off we shall go. So yeah beacons can now go off. Lights are on as I say we are currently in the wet weather be a thing around uh, South Wales of course and so we are in Cardiff at the moment or near Cardiff anyway so say we are heading down to Roscoff in northern France today which does of course mean driving back towards Plymouth just where we came from in yesterday's episode Telling us to turn left, of course. Turn left. And one other thing that you should, as uh, we said in yesterday's episode, you should notice today graphics are looking a lot better and a bit. Uh, sharper, clearer. Reason being is because we now have a, a realistic graphics run. mod installed. Turn right. Ooh, I overshot that a bit. A bit more worried that the uh, police car was coming in, but never mind. So we are still driving the Scania V8, 710 horsepower, it's a fantastic tr uh, truck this one is. It is our heavy haul truck, one we use for all the uh, heavy stuff, as I say today, Get ready to turn and left. all of this week we are just been, or have been pulling around the, uh, our own oil and flatbed trailer. Turn left. Here we go. Hopefully, these are not going to stop on the hill. Don't need to anyway because it's a lane that just carries on. But 
as I say, we've got uh, a fair old drive to do today. Shouldn't take us too long, to be honest. As I say, the uh, Scania V8 does very well indeed. over the uh, Seven Bridge again. Came over this one yesterday. As we said, you get some fantastic views on here. Of course, only when it's uh, clear weather. It's just typical that uh, it's raining again. throughout uh, the videos as well keep right and then continue straight on but uh, regarding our live streaming I know we've Go had a few questions on. recently about it we are of course scrapping the live streaming this week things have gone horribly wrong with something on the uh, streaming equipment so I'm really not sure what's going on with that. Need to uh, investigate and get bits and pieces set back up. I think it's just going to be uh, quickly uninstall and reinstall everything. But uh, as I say, that will be done over the course of the weekend and next week. Fingers crossed we should have everything back up and running by then. But of course back to today. As I say we are up to episode number 22 today. It's of course Thursday. It's our trucking Thursday. Just uh, doing a nice simple job today from Cardiff down to Roscoff using the uh, wooden flatbed trailer that we own another really stobar there, tandem one if of course you are counting them remember to count all of the Eddie Stobarts you see throughout the video put your comments down below in the comments section of how many you see throughout each episode and you can win yourself a shout out on a video some videos we uh, are happy to point every stobar out but uh, other videos it's down to you guys to find them see how many you can see again today although as I say we was driving yesterday yesterday's episode was uh, raining at the start it cleared up halfway through so hopefully I'll do that today question we was asked is uh, how do you get your truck to drive so fast and the uh, simple answer to that is we took the limiter off the truck when you uh, first start up a game it automatically puts a limiter a truck limiter on and if you go through your settings the gameplay settings you can turn that limiter off but be warned you can get caught with speeding make sure that uh, you watch out for those speed cameras of course 
any police around, etc. So just bear that in mind. Stow bar there. Don't see many of the old ones around, plenty of the newer liveries. Keep right and then continue straight on. Go straight on. Well, hopefully, this one in front of us now is going to. Carry that speed through and move on. Suffering with lag again. It's really annoying, uh, especially for us, trying to control the vehicle with that Keep lag. Right, and then continue straight on. It does happen though. Go straight on. As I say, we are heading back towards Plymouth at the moment. Catch. Uh, the ferry from Plymouth down to uh, Roscoff and then literally straight off the ferry and straight into one of the yards hopefully it's, it's going to be as simple as that today hopefully that rain will have uh, cleared up a bit by the time we get down there as I say we have got that ferry crossing as well which uh, means we'll get a little bit of rest on the ferry say that uh, I've been out from the Plymouth Ferry before so it'll be interesting to have a little look down there we probably have at some point but uh, not very often we go from Plymouth usually it's from Dover Use the sneeze in there. I think the uh, hay fever is kicking in again. This is uh, really a typical British road network. This is. You've got uh, traffic jams building up because of roadworks. Various roadworks in place. So you get these average speed cameras above. And uh, yeah, you get that horrible weather as well. Really is typical. British roads. So here we are back in uh, Plymouth once again now. So we are heading towards the docks. Keep right 
and then turn right. Across there. Keep There's left. the yard we came out of in yesterday's left. episode. Turn left. Okay. Keep left. At the roundabout, take the first exit. It's a good thing about the uh, sat nav that's talking to you. It saves uh, me just uh, random, now. randomly saying that we're going to be turning left here and turning right there and. Uh, make a bit of a difference. Turn right. So yeah, turning right for the docks. Let's get out quickly. So we are near enough at the docks now. It's got to find where the actual entrance is, where we're we going. Lorry Park there. As I say, we have been down here before for definite because we've discovered the roads, but uh, I really can't remember coming down here. Follow this road down looking at this. Left into here. Okay, we'll park here and uh, okay, let's find a new route. Find out where we're going. Where they want us to park, ready to load us up. Of course, it's a seven-hour ferry time. Of course, it's going to cost us 910 euros to get across. So we're going across here to Roscoff. So we click that embark button and uh, they'll get loaded up and off we shall go. Find a new route. And there of course is the uh, little advert for the realistic graphics mod. FRKN64 modding, thank you very much for doing that one. Oh, let me turn those wipers off now. And here we shall go. Handbrake off. Off the ferry. I think we can also turn lights off now. Oh, over the bumps. And one thing we've got to remember is we're now back in France. So we need to be on the right hand side of the road. lanes going out so I don't think it matters which one we take. Get ready to turn left. Slow down for the speed bump. And there we go. So left turn at these lights here. Turn left. Oh, hang on, is that at the lights or is that meant to be yeah definitely at the lights. Going into this yard just here. 
Geodis. And where are we parking? Head on round and they'll see where we've got to go. Ah, uh, there we go. So we should actually be the other way round. Hopefully there's going to be somewhere to turn around in this yard. Though it seems a bit tight around here. I think we may have to go back round and back out. Very tight yard to uh, try and turn these around. No bays available. Wonder if we turn in this car park bit here. Swing it hard. We've got the trailer completely sideways there. Managed to swing it round, but that's all good. There's really not a lot of room to turn around in this yard. Certainly start getting the uh, bigger trailers, of course. You're going to be struggling to manoeuvre. so that's all good engine off hit that enter key and that ladies and gentlemen is another job done so the large tubes from Cardiff to Roscoff 163 miles driven 20 hours 17 minutes and 84 litres of fuel used but of course that all important bit at the moment 11,480 euros earned 368 experience points but uh, like we say that's going to be it for today in episode number 22 hopefully you have enjoyed this one if you have remember of course to drop us a like on today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new and if of course you could share today's video with family and friends or anybody else you think may enjoy it would also be very much appreciated but like i say that is going to be it thank you very much for watching this one we shall see you in the next one bye for now